Everything's on. Hamstrings, glutes, abs. It's all part of it, right? So now we're gonna kick off our shoes and we're going to get really, really detailed. We're gonna make sure that our, our foot's not supinating or pronating too much. And um, I want everybody, actually, um, every partnership could get a better. We're going to squeeze the ball and very slowly, we're gonna do 10 reps. And that's all I say, because I wanna make sure we're doing we're all on the same page. So in your feet, your feet should be uh, just at shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. If you have a squat stance that feels natural, you can go right to that. And then I want you to feel pressure on the, the heel of the foot, the ball of the pinky toe, and I want you to feel the pressure of the ball of the big toe as well. So you should feel it in three places, but I want you to pull the, your toes toward your heels, kind of squeezing the earth, so creating a little scoop action. What that does is that, that puts tension through the arch. There you go, that's exactly what I want to see. Jack, good, nice. You'll notice that all of a sudden you can already feel your legs have to turn on for this. Bend the knees just a little bit, maybe uh, five degrees, so just a little bit of bend the knees. Pressure on the outside of the foot. So, I want you to do more pressure through your ears. You just let's get good. Or the outside, squeeze the ears, pull that toe in toward your ears. There you go, see how that rope rotates that pressure out? That's the way I want you to stand naturally. Right when you're doing your squat. <laughs> That's right, it turns your butt on. So, so Josh is ready. He's got pressure throughout his whole foot, squeezing the toes, knees are bent. Now you're gonna squeeze that medicine ball and you're gonna do five slow motion reps and you're gonna go as low as you can, keeping pressure in your gut and pressure in your hands, squeezing that ball the whole time. Go for it, slowly. I want you to feel your feet. I want you to feel the tension. If I'm, if I'm squeezing the earth and I start to activate that sole of the foot, now my talus, which is a bone in the shin, is set up over my foot more efficiently. I have to turn on my glutes. So now all of a sudden, I have to squat better to do it. Now that's the way that we want to set up our movement is making it impossible to do poorly. So we are trying to feel that excellent recruitment it's like Courtney's feeling. Toes just slightly narrower. Yeah, there you go. Do it again. Great job. Like not having fun with this squat right now. Is this hard? Okay, good. I just feel like my feet are moving more. Yes, yes. Because you're using muscles in your feet that are asleep, right? So, like, that's a great sign that you're on the right track.